All three major candidates for Baltimore mayor put the fate of small business at the top of their agendas. The pandemic has put some out of business and clobbered wages in others. Right now, the city should be, and the mayor's office of employment development should be, training workers who have lost their jobs due to COVID and retraining them for jobs that are going to be available today. We know, and I know, as a, as a business owner and entrepreneur, that what's important in business is cash. Cash is king. We need to find pathways to get cash into the pockets of our small businesses via the state level or even at the federal level. That addresses the small businesses. We need to make sure that we are getting uh, capital access for our small businesses. We need to make sure that we are helping them to make that transition wherever possible from brick and mortar to a hybrid of brick and mortar and online. Independent candidate Bob Wallace promised a new Baltimore Conservation Corps to put unemployed people to work. That will provide jobs for the squeegee kids, and for people in our city to do what? To pair them up with DPW, to help them to, to use them to pick up the trash, to cut the grass, and to clean our city up. And what we would do in the process, we would put people to work where they can earn a skill and a living until we can work our way through this difficult time caused by the pandemic. Republican Shannon Wright promised free Wi-Fi. We in my administration will cut that red tape and all the bull and be able to prioritize businesses and their needs first. City Council President Brandon Scott proposes an overhaul of the city's procurement process to favor local small business. We have to break up contracts so that special services for big time city contracts can be taken away and make sure that they go to a small, medium uh, sized black owned business here in the city to make sure that they have a one up and that they are getting supported in the way that they should. At a legislative briefing this afternoon, state revenue officials said income tax revenues in the food and entertainment sectors in Maryland are down 17.4 percent year to date. Baltimore's economy is very dependent on those sectors for employment, etc. Those numbers an indication of just how serious the impact is. Reporting live tonight from an early voting center in Northeast Baltimore, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL TV 11 News. Jane, that was an interesting look at how each candidate would handle the economy. Thank you. And you could watch the final and only televised mayoral debate with all three candidates, moderated by 11 News anchor Jason Newton. It's tonight right here on WBAL-TV 11 and on MeTV Baltimore, tonight at 7 p.m. And tomorrow night, our chief national investigative correspondent, Mark Albert, will host a Commitment 2020 Voter's Guide special. That hour-long special airs tomorrow night at 7 p.m.